Right, okay, see that? Don't know, looks like the sort of thing you do at school, I think. Let's check it. That one pulls tight. That one pulls tight. That one pulls tight. That one pulls nice and tight. And so does that one. Now, I'll come around here with the camera. Now, that is pretty good curve. Not vis it won't be visible from the outside because obviously this is the back of the panel. So now we're going to hit that with some spray glue. And all the cuts are just this side of the uh, backing board. And you can see your little creases you get there. So you need to get your cut right close to the edge. Otherwise that will end up being a fold like that. And it will just keep your door panel off your door. Which is not what we want. Okay. Right. Without spending 400 hours doing the um, one door panel. I've seen the principle of that, so I'm going to finish this one off and I'll come back when I'm going to stick the um, piping around the back. See you in a second. Right, I've stuck the, um, all the sides down, all the corners down. Clean them up when we've finished. That's what it looks like from the front. A little bit feng shui. I've had another, uh, another idea. If you really wanted to do something special on your door panels, you could uh, cut the material, mark out where it's going to go, where you want it, and then take it to um, a t-shirt embroidery shop or embroidery shop and um, have them uh, with the machine embroider your name or anything you want on there. I think that would look quite smart, but I just want to get mine done so I'm not going that far with it, although that would look really good. Anyway, right, this is the top of the panel, so we're going to start at the bottom. Still working on the back. This is the piping I showed you earlier. Um, I tried to stick this down with various uh, different types of glue, and they were all extremely disappointing and not strong enough. So I had a little look on the internet, and I found, without any advertising, Loctite Soft Plastic Adhesive. I did a test piece. In fact, I'll do another test piece and we'll film it a bit further down the line. But uh, I glued it, two bits of scrap together, and uh, it had to be ripped apart. So this is really good for this vinyl. Right. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to fix my uh, piping around the edge so that when the panel's stuck in the hole, it'll look like that bit of a contrasting edge. So, I'm going to start at the bottom, the front edge, about there, and a few millimetres back from the edge, I'm just going to run a generous uh, blob of uh, this glue, generous line of it. Once again, stop before you get to your corners. Because you've got to do the same with this as you have with that. Some little snips around the back so you can fold it properly. Now, let's see. Once again, you could probably stitch this on if you were uh, competent enough to mark your material properly. Although I uh, can use the same machine, if you've got glue that does the job, why not use it? Especially when it's as strong as that stuff. Right, so, I'll get that on there like that. Pinch it up. Nice straight edge. Don't forget, you're going to need to get it even, what's hanging out the... Uh, What's overlapping the top. So that's looking pretty, uh, looks and feels pretty good. And yes, feels reasonably even. Right, now I've got to stick something heavy on it. And that's as simple as that. Obviously the right glue will uh, make a big difference to the uh, longevity of your project. There we go. A bit of that will do the job. 
Right, so now we've got to wait for that to dry. Um, then we do little snips around the um, front panel, uh, around the corners, like that. Can you see that? So a few little snips to stop the material folding up. And you get your corner right, and then you do your straight edge down to your bottom edge. Same again down the bottom. So we'll let that go off, what ramble on about that. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Right, to get around the corner, to get around the corners, you've got to do the same with the uh, piping as you have for the uh, normal materials. So I've got side cutters here. So what I'm going to do is go snip every five millimetres or so. Snip. Snip. I'm not going up into the um, thread. Just short of the thread. Otherwise it'll all come undone. So just snip that all the way around. far enough that it will go uh, around the curve and onto the straight. Is that enough? One more for good luck. Right, okay, that's that. So now, now we can uh, line it up on the edge where we want it and we want just the piping part of it overhanging so that's going to go there like that and before I glue it something with a bit of weight and a curve on it to keep it in position yeah that'll do fine so we stick that on there and then use our bit of wood to bring it down the straight Excellent. Right, that one's nearly empty, so we'll pop the next one ready to go. I bought five tubes of this, I've only got two left already. I've uh, used quite a lot. So, here we go. Nice dollop, a few millimetres back from the edge. So this is only working because this glue is so strong. That's the end of that one. Come on. There you come. Okay, I'll leave it a little bit short. I think it's uh, it must be slightly uh, it's supposed to be liquid that stuff like that. So I think whoever sold me that off of eBay is selling old stock. Okay, jiggle them flaps up and about. Rest the pot of paint on. Make sure you've got the right amount sticking out. That's that. Run that one down the edge there as well. Lovely jubbly. Stick a bit of wood on. Keep it all pressed where we want it. little bit fiddly. I did the other three in front of the telly indoors, took me time. Nice even straight edge. 